if you're new to video editing and you're unsure how to make a start, then I urge you to watch this tutorial. I know exactly what it feels like to stare at video editing software and feel a mix of frustration and overwhelm. You're kind of beaten before you even start. Let me know in the comments underneath what holds you back from making more videos. And so this is why I want to show you how to use Adobe Express Video Editor to make really professional and polished videos, even if you're a beginner. I'll walk you through seven essential but simple steps so you can start editing videos without stress and overwhelm. I'll also share my favorite Adobe Express feature that saves me hours of work a month, keeps my stress levels in check, and helps me maintain a consistent brand look across all my creations. So let's make a start. Once you've logged in or opened up your Adobe Express account, you will arrive at the Adobe Express homepage and this is what it looks like. So the first thing we're gonna do is find the video tab in the top toolbar here and click to open it. Now scroll down and here you'll find a carousel of all the popular video templates. So have a scroll through the carousel and find the template size that you need for your project. I'm gonna go back and select YouTube video. So here you are in the Adobe Express video editor. And so of course, the first thing we need to do is to start uploading our raw video files into Adobe Express so that we can start editing them. There are two ways you can upload video files into Adobe Express. You can either drag and drop them into this space here or you can upload them from your device files. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And by the way, Adobe Express supports most common video formats. So if you're using your smartphone to record your video or your webcam, you are absolutely good to go. So I'm going to import my video files from my own device. Okay, so I've now got two video clips in the Adobe Express video editor. You can upload as many video clips or scenes as you want. So don't worry at this point if you've forgotten to add a scene. You can easily do this by clicking on the plus icon at the end of the video editor and then uploading another clip from your device. So I now have three scenes in the video editor. At this point, you might want to name your project so that you can easily find it again at another time. Sometimes when you're uploading clips to the video editor, you think, oh no, I've uploaded them in the wrong order. And that's not a problem at all because all you need to do is click on this little icon in the top left-hand corner of the editor to switch views to scene view. For me, it feels a little bit like I'm looking down on all my video files, like having a bird's eye view of them. So if you do want to switch the scenes around in a different order, all you need to do is click on reorder, hold your cursor down on one of the scene thumbnails and then drag and drop it into the right position. Once you've done that, do remember to click on this little tick icon and then go back to the video editor by switching views to selected layer. Perfect. You may have noticed this black line that runs through the video editor with a kind of inverted triangle on the top. That is your video playhead. It can easily be repositioned on the video timeline by holding your cursor down over this little triangle and scrubbing it through the video footage. Let's have a look at cropping and splitting the video. To crop a video clip, select it with your cursor, hold your cursor down over these little sidebars and then drag it along the video editor. You can do exactly the same on the other side hold your cursor down over the sidebar and drag it along the video editor. And this is really handy if you want to shorten or even increase the duration of a video clip. So again, to increase the video, hold your cursor down over the sidebar and drag it out. You might need to split a video to remove any mistakes, filler words or repetitions you may have made during recording. So this is why you shouldn't really worry too much if you've stumbled over a word or you've repeated yourself because you can always edit them out at this stage. So to split a video, you're going to drag that playhead to the start of that portion of video that you want to remove. And you'll see right at the top, there's a little timestamp. So I'm at 6.1 seconds into that particular video clip. So you can be really precise. 
Next you can either right click and select split or you can click on these three little dots here at the end of the video clip and select split. You're now going to reposition the playhead at the end of the portion that you want to remove and then split the video clip again. Select that portion you want to delete, click on the three little dots and select delete. If you're wondering now how to knit these two sections together, I'll be showing you exactly how to do that in just a minute. At some stage, you'll probably want to add some text overlay to your video. So go to the left hand side column and click text and then click the add your text box. And you'll see you've got some text now over your video. With your text still selected, you can now go ahead and have some fun by adding your own message. Reposition the text box by hovering your cursor down over this four arrow cursor and just dragging the text into the position you want. Increase the width of any text box by grabbing a hold of the sidebars and dragging them out. Customize the font by clicking on the drop down menu. There are thousands to choose from. Click on more fonts to choose a particular font style and then customize it even further by adding bold and italics. You'll notice that the text has been added as a layer on top of the video editor. However, you cannot drag a layer of text across different video clips. So here's a pro tip. Select the text box with your cursor. Click Command and C to copy the text box. Drag the playhead to the start of the next video clip and then click Command and V and that will paste an identical text box over the next clip. I mentioned at the start of this video that I was going to share one of my favourite features in Adobe Express. It's the brand kit and it really is a dream for coaches or small business owners who want to look consistent and professional across all platforms. Brand kits can easily be accessed within the design editor in the left hand side column. So take the time to set up your brand kit with your own brand fonts, your logos, colours, and other design assets. You can even upload your own custom fonts directly into Adobe Express in just a few seconds. You then have access to all the right brand tools and you can apply them to any template with just a click of a button. So if you've ever wasted time copying and pasting color hex codes or re-uploading your logo, this is going to change everything. To access a brand kit, you will need to upgrade from a free account, but you can test out all the premium features with a 30 day free trial, including Adobe Express Firefly, which is absolutely mind boggling. All you need to do is click the link in the description underneath this video to get instant access. Back to the video editor and I was going to show you how to knit different video clips together in a more professional manner so that they run from one to the next really smoothly. So if you can see there's a little plus icon between each video clip. If you click on the plus icon you can go ahead and add a transition. That will then open up a menu in the left hand side column of all the available transitions. You can preview a transition by hovering your cursor over the little thumbnail image. My personal favourite is Dissolve, so I'm going to apply it by clicking the thumbnail. If you click the thumbnail again, you can customise the transition by decreasing or increasing the duration by sliding this little button along the slider bar. If you want the same transition to appear between each video clip, just go to the bottom of the column and click apply to all scenes. And that's a real time saver. To preview your video before you download it, drag the playhead right to the start and then click the play button. Once you're happy with the video, go ahead and download it by going to the top right hand corner of your Adobe Express toolbar, click download. Adobe Express has already selected MP4 video, select your video resolution and then click download. 
Next time, I'll be showing you how to increase engagement and add some truly professional finishing touches by adding movement and music and uploading your own audio. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and support my channel by subscribing. And finally, why not learn how to make easy peasy talking head videos in Adobe Express right here.